Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I've been working on a couple of different things for you guys, and when you see it, you're going to be like, well, that's super simple, and why do I need that? Well, just play along and listen, and I will tell you all of those answers. Now, um, I have two versions. Uh, the version you're going to see now is very basic. In fact, you can put it together at home, no problem. Um, if you want me to build it for you, I'm not going to ship these things. This one here, I'm not going to ship. However, I've got another one that I'm working on that might be a little bit easier to ship and it's more inclusive. It's There's more to it. Uh, so it's the bigger, better version. But this one right here, unless you can pick it up locally, um, probably not going to ship it. So this is cart number one, detailing cart number one. The whole purpose behind this is a lot of people detail out of itty bitty little cars. And while I prefer rinseless and I feel like you should too, um, not everybody does, not everybody tr trusts it. So that's fine, no problem at all. Do you, do whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever makes you feel the best about. And that's really all there is to that. So this first little setup is just a wash cart. Um, no, you cannot use a foam cannon. I know that's the first thing people are gonna want. If you want a very basic, inexpensive way to basically wash a car when you drive a smart car or a Chevy Spark or a Ford Focus or any of those itty bitty little hatchback jobs where you can fit most of your stuff in and being rinseless is huge, um, those people sometimes want more and it all, the only thing you got to do to have more is put a trailer hitch on your car. We're looking at about 150 bucks for the part. Nine times out of 10, you can install that on your own. You want to put a trailer hitch on your car so that you can run one of these. Now, this is the uh, Harbor Freight Hallmaster aluminum cargo uh cargo rack, if you will. It takes a, or it has a two inch receiver. So if you've got an itty bitty car, a lot of times you're only gonna be able to get a one and a quarter receiver, which is, here's my uh, El Camino. And that is the little job that takes this little receiver right here. So that's a class one hitch. And generally for those smaller cars that don't that don't officially have a tow rating um, they're gonna only have an option for an itty bitty deal now you can absolutely get a, a quarter inch one and a quarter to two inch uh, adapter yeah I don't have one I thought I did anyway I was gonna show you the adapter but I don't have that adapter um, but you can go from one and a quarter to two you can get an adapter from Harbor Freight they sell those and then you can use this rack right here. The biggest benefit to that rack over other cargo wrap racks is the size and this right here is a ramp. Um, I will, that's the bottom in the, up there. I will be putting a piece of wood or maybe some aluminum on the bottom. Uh, I also will be doing it on the rack because boom. Car wash rack number, or car wash cart number one. All right, we've got a 26 gallon tank. It's tied to the alum, all aluminum cart uh, with just some uh, eyelets and ratchet straps. There's a 100 foot of PVC hose, and that's a 100 foot hose reel. That's a locking hose reel, which is pretty cool. It's actually locked now. To unlock it you just pull this guy here turn it and now it's unlocked and it will move any time any way you want it to move um, coming right along to the side here so we we've got the 100 foot hose reel 100 foot of pvc hose um, we have a sprayer um, this sprayer actually is a uh, straight sprayer this is actually um, I am going to sell these as soft wash rigs on Facebook Marketplace. So I will put these together and I'll sell them. They're awesome for spraying bleach uh, on houses and driveways and that kind of thing before you pressure wash. So if you're in, into pressure washing, this is an ideal uh, residential or light commercial 
um, soft wash system. It's awesome. It's a three gallon per minute hose. Uh, I got all stainless steel hardware on this thing. Um, the only thing I couldn't get in stainless at Lowe's uh, was the eyelets on this one are zinc, but they're fine for car wash cart. Um, it's a C flow. I've tested these pumps so much over the years and these are awesome really good quality um i went ahead and just got some alligator clips and i spliced them in uh, and then i just covered the wires and made it look pretty um, you do have a mesh strainer so that's going to keep any gunk and junk from uh coming from the tank through this is the vacuum hose here um, i've got it adapted here and it just comes out into the pump and then out of the pump into the bottom of the hose reel and then in through the hose and then out the sprayer so three gallons per minute 45 psi it sprays awesome and you can use different sprayers with it if you want um, i'm actually going to show you another option like i said this is a second story sprayer specifically for soft washing uh, if you don't need that obviously i can supply a regular sprayer uh, but we've got all high quality brass fittings everywhere. Um, I did actually break the fitting that this pump came with. So I went and had to get some brass ones. No problem, a little bit stronger anyway. Uh, stainless steel screws again to bolt the pump down. And then uh, I will not sell these carts with a battery. You will need to purchase your own deep cycle battery. Um, this is a case that it will come with. You will get the case for the battery. Um, I like the group 24s. There's no need for any more than that. Um, that's just a generic Walmart lead acid uh, deep cycle um, dual purpose battery. Uh, nothing fancy, but that's the one I, I keep and do all my, my testing with. So um, you will have to get your own battery. This cart right here is going to retail for $9.99. Um, it's a great, great way to be able to pull a cart straight up onto a cargo rack and then ratchet strap it down, go wherever you need to go, and either leave it on the car or you can pull it down because it is on wheels and take it wherever you need to go uh, you've got the power for the pump uh, again you'll be able to get great work done if you're doing a traditional wash uh, or even the cool cool part is you can spray infinite use detail juice with this too no problem at all in fact infinite use detail juice will protect the inside of that pump forever it will actually last longer i have proven that time and time again if you run the infinite use detail juice through this or if an infinite use detail juice one you are protecting all the parts in the pump and the pump will last longer um, in fact i've done it many 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 times i've had ones that i didn't and they burn up faster than if you use the infinite use detail juice so if you're looking to spray a waterless wash type solution uh, this is amazing too uh, it's 26 gallons. I mean, that's a lot of cars. If you were going to do a traditional wash with this setup, uh, with the 26 gallons, I would say you're going to be able to get three whole car, three. I'd be able to wash my van three times is, is where I'm at with this. You might be able to wash that Honda. You might get six out of the, uh, you know, for that size. Uh, that's a little bit bigger. So you might get five. So Anywhere from three to six cars is what you can get. Minimum three, more like four overall. Uh, but I don't know anybody who does more than that per day unless you're doing car lot cars and whatever. In which case, for waterless, this would be great. Um, it would also be okay if all you're doing is rinsing cars because in that case, you could probably get 10 to 12 cars completely rinsed. But with this situation and car lot cars that only need to get rinsed, um, all you're really doing there is you're rinsing the dirt off the cars, but in doing that, the pressure from the pressure washer is going to help rinse the dirt off. This system isn't the best for having to do that because you're not getting more than 45 PSI out of that pump. Now, let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna cut right now and grab another nozzle. I'm gonna show you how this would be uh, functional for a car wash cart, so hang tight. You could put a 40 degree nozzle on there with no problem. I have one over here. 
So I use these for general washing anyway when I do traditional washes here at my house. Trying to get it off with one hand, not fun. All right, so I'll show you what this one does real quick. All right, so hooking the hose, pump back up. Now check this out. Lots of pressure out of that. Three gallons a minute is perfect for soft washing. You don't get any waste. Uh, the pink nozzle actually puts out a little bit more flow, but so you just quick disconnect that off and then you quick disconnect the 40 degree job on. Let's see how this works. I like the uh, I like the standard sprayer better than this one. I don't love how that that spray. It's just not enough pressure for this nozzle. You need a smaller nozzle orifice, but uh, that one works great. So you could do your own little car wash deal with this little cart. Pull it on and off of the cargo rack, and uh, you're good to go. Pretty inexpensive. Uh, if I've got to put this together for you and you want to pick it up, it'll come with everything but that battery for a thousand dollars. Nine nine nine, nine nine. <laughs> anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, if you were going to build one by yourself, you would probably spend seven hundred bucks, if I had to guess, worth of parts. I mean, that cart alone was one hundred and forty bucks. Um, you know, and then you've got your tank. You got your hose, your reel. Uh, this is really high quality uh, PVC hose. Um, the pump, I mean, those are 80 bucks. I mean, you got your sprayer between all the parts, the stainless steel hardware, which is not cheap. It's probably got, I probably got 120, 130 bucks worth of stainless steel hardware on here. You look at this and you think, oh, it's so simple. Well, try to build it yourself. And then uh, tell me how simple it is uh, financially um, if you've got anything to say about the. $9.99 I'm going to charge to build these. Um, if you want one, that's what they are. If you don't want one and you want to do it, your, or if you do want one, you want to do it yourself, uh, no problem. Uh, but this is where we're at. I did not put a parts list together. Uh, I don't have time for any of that, but uh, you can see everything. So if you want to get crafty and start making notes, uh, you could probably put this together on your own. So, but if you want one, let me know. I can, I can build you one all in for a thousand bucks. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. Um, and if you want a cart, let me know. If you want to build your own, do that. You should. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you build a cart, show us. Come into the group, show us what's going on. We'll help you uh, get it ironed out or whatever you need from us. Uh, we can help you with anything you need detailing related. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. But this is the very basic car wash cart slash soft wash system. It works for both of those. It was originally designed to be a soft wash system. Uh, but because of the pure functionality... You can absolutely use it as a car wash rig uh, if you've got an itty bitty car and don't have room for a huge tank, pressure washer and all that. Um, the next, the bigger rig that I was telling you about is completely custom. I didn't buy a pre-done cart. I'm building the cart uh, out of aluminum. Uh, and stainless steel components. And then um, I'm also gonna be running a generator, the same tank and a pressure washer on that cart. So if you want a real all-inclusive detailing machine rig, no problem, I got you covered. Stay tuned for that. That'll probably be a little bit because I'm still working that out and ironing out the details for that one. But uh, thanks for watching guys. If you got comments or questions, post them below or send me a direct message. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.